This is James Hendricks with the Black Sheep Reports. Now, what do you think when you hear the word America? Now, if you're from the West, your answer most likely, thanks to the propaganda, is going to sound something like freedom, because this is land of the free and home of the brave. Now, I'm going to break this down, this saying down, and show you just how hypocritical this is. For starters, land of the free. In October 2013, the incarceration rate of the United States of America was the highest in the world at 716 per 100,000 of the na national population while the United States represents only 4.4 percent of the world's population it houses around 22 percent of the world's prisoners more than half 55 percent of the federal prisoners are serving time for drug offenses and only 13 percent for violent offenses Nearly three-fourths, 72% of the population are non-violent offenders with no history of violence. Now someone please explain to me how we can say land of the free when we lock up more people than any place in the world. China has over a billion people and yet we lock up on average more people. Now moving on to the second part that's hypocritical home of the brave. Brave. Let's let's read the definition of brave. Ready to face and endure danger or pain. Showing courage. Now the first part I'm not really going to question because I figure if someone is going to risk their life to serve their military in the military, to serve their country, they're willing to endure danger and pain. But that isn't really brave. You know, a crazy psycho or a schizo can endure pain and put themselves in danger. That doesn't really make them brave. Hence the second part of the definition of brave, showing courage. Can we really say as Americans that America is showing courage? We openly drone strike innocent people in other countries. Documents came out to the public that the drone strikes in Afghanistan during the Obama administration had only a 10% success rate. This means 90% of the time we, when we was looking for a so-called terrorist, 90% of the time we killed innocent life. When does it stop becoming brave and just start becoming genocide? This is James Hendricks with the Black Sheep Report. Subscribe if you're new. All the links are below. And don't forget to check us out on Facebook. Our page is media on 9-11. Thank you.